guys, it's me, Burger Boy Cooks, and today we're cooking up some of my favorite pasta. Yeah. So, so we got this big ass bag of Doritos, and we got pack macaroni. Yep, you know what we're making: Dorito macaroni and cheese. This is craft dinner. Doritos, milk, and the margin that's all the way back here. So you also need a pot that I do not have. So looks like I need time to the dishwasher. So grab your massively oversized pot and then fill it with some cold water. Don't mind that beef, that's for a different cooking video. So you wanna fill it up probably about halfway. And then put it on your element. And now, I looked like Jesus there. We're gonna wait for it to, I need to turn on the element. Now we're gonna wait for it to boil, and then throw our macaroni and cheese in. Okay, so I forgot to tell you this, but get a bag about this big and put Doritos in it, and then hit it with anything that's hard, basically. I normally use a pizza roller, but I'm gonna use my sledgehammer. Okay, so it really depends on how many you want. And once you crush all these, you can add more. And now that I have my sledgehammer, let's crush up these Doritos. And don't forget to take out your cheese pack, cause then there's just noodles in there. Now you basically have your Cheeto dust, or Dorito dust. If you want, you can add more of that, looks good to me. But yeah, so now let's wait for a water to boil. Okay, so get your timer here, ready for seven minutes. Don't click that yet though. So now it's basically boiling, lots of bubbles on the bottom. Pour in your noodles. Now start the timer. Now, stir it around. To make sure there's no big chunks. You should stir it about every two minutes. By the way, this is a very new channel, cooking channel. My first video alone, so it's a lot less entertaining, obviously. But if we can hit 10 subscribers before I post the next video, that made me super happy. We're trying to hit 100 before, we're trying to hit 300 before my birthday on my other account. We're trying to hit, we're trying to get a vi viral video on here. We're trying to get 100 before my birthday, May 12 on here. And then my vlog channel, I'm just trying to get 10. But I haven't posted a video on the vlog yet. But I will before spring break ends. So don't forget to watch that. It's going to be a super long video. It's the weekend of life of a 13-year-old. It's like five hours. I don't even know how long. It's going to be multiple hours. But I will see who watches the whole last video. And I'll be super happy if you do. So we're making that Dorito macaroni right now. Once the past is finished... I'll record it. And also, don't forget to take your strainer out. Let's go. <coughs> I just almost started a fire. I spilled water on God everywhere. It smells like burnt stuff in my house. But we're back on track. Three minutes and 40 seconds left. <coughs> I'll smell so fucking bad. All right. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, so we can get more subscribers. If you don't want to subscribe, just like. So that recommends. We need as many impressions as we can get. So, let's go. Okay, so our water is done. So let's turn off that element and bring it over here to the strainer. Now, I do need to get my pod camera thing to record it. Can you guys see that? Probably not. Bring our water over here. 
pour it in the strainer. Frick, some of that just hit my hand. That hurt really bad. Fudge. Bro. Get out your milk. I'm only going to, no, too bad. We're getting out the margin too, guys. I don't care if it says one or the other, we're doing both. Alright, so, you see our strainer here, shake it all out, you want to shake it for about a minute, so, yeah, here, I'll time lapse this part. Alrighty, so let's get that here, okay, so that was actually just like 30 seconds, but whatever. The hard part is to get all the pasta out. So you wanna get your big spoon to get all that pasta that's stuck to the strainer off. And just pour it right in to your pot. Okay. Now, I am gonna confess something. This is just an idea I randomly had. Make Dorito macaroni and cheese. I don't even know if this is going to be good. Let's see, though. By the way, thank you for all the support on the last video. I didn't think it'd be that good. But yeah. Yeah. Bro, this is so trash ass. I need, do need to shout out my channel and my main channel. All right. Frick, get off my finger. Okay. So we got our macaroni now. Now... I don't measure it, but I have done it so many times I know how much. So, that much milk, and then get this spoon for our freaking margin. Turn the TV down a bit more so you guys don't hear it as much. And then grab. No, that's way too much. I don't like margin that much, and it kind of does the flavor a bit. So put that much in as well, and then just mix it up, but with the smaller spoon now. Because I like mine to have a little bit of that cheese liquid, sort of milky. You might not. Now... If you really don't, and you still added that much, you could drain the milk out. That's kind of like a waste. So keep mixing it here, toss it a bit, until you don't see that margin basically at all. So you could just smush it in there. Mix, 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 mix. Mixy, mixy, keep mixing. Okay, now, to make that milk useful, put in your cheese. Now, there we go. Now, mix that all up. Now, the reason I put that much milk as well, is it makes it easier to mix in the cheese powder and the cheese powder sticks to the macaroni better. And it freaking makes the milk look cheesy. It's really creamy. Like, if you don't like milk, you can put in, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can put in cream. I'd recommend milk. And now at this point, you have your crushed up Doritos. Pour all of them in there. It's probably way too much, but put in as many as you want to taste, so. Kind of looks like chili flakes, I'm going to be honest. That's what it looks like in there, so. And then I guess just mix it up in with it. Smells actually pretty good, but I'm just worried they might get really soggy. But we'll find out. We'll find out if this is a good recipe or a bad recipe. 
Ooh, it actually smells really good. Like really cheesy and delicious. All right, I'm gonna put this in a bowl now. That's what it looks like in the end. I'm gonna put it in a bowl now and we're gonna taste test it. Let's go. I think this is something I just created, but I've pro you've probably seen other people do this. And hopefully I'm not just dummy for thinking this works. Put a thing over top of it to keep the heat sort of trapped in. I like this because it won't make it super humid, I don't think. But yeah, so I'm gonna fill this up with milk and eat some macaroni. And I'll tell you how I like it. We do not have my mom here to taste test it. We do not have Logan here to taste test it. It's just me. So, let's go try. Now, by the way, milk is my favorite drink. A little fun fact about me. That's so good. Okay. So, I know you guys can't see this. If I back it up a bit, you kind of can. So, this is what the macaroni looks like. It smells really cheesy. This is what my milk looks like. It's still delicious. Bro. My TV is on. Okay. So, this is what the macaroni ended up looking like. It smells super freaking cheesy. Yeah. So, this is what my milk looks like. It's still delicious. This is what my spoon looks like. And this is what my napkin looks like. But yeah, let's try it. You can kind of see the Dorito bits. Let's go. Whoa. Okay. It makes it more cheesy. It has a teeny crunch to it. It's a soft crunch, but it has a little crunch to it. Let's try it again. Hmm. Look, my rating is an eight out of 10. Now the main reason is cause I like it very cheesy instead of just a little cheesy. This is very cheesy. I like there's a little crunch on the end. It tastes like a little bit of a tangy taste to the end. I probably, it'd probably be one of those things where I make like rarely, like maybe once every month, once every three months. I wouldn't, it's a little funky. Like, it'd be so much better if it's just a Dorito cheese without the actual Dorito chip. But, honestly, In my opinion, it's better than regular craft dinner. Because after you've had craft dinner a bunch of times, it kind of gets, you know, boring. But yeah, so I give this solid 8 out of 10. We definitely eat again. Yeah, so good. Good macaroni. Yeah, i try this, and you can tell me if you like it in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you watch to the end at this point, say mac macaroni is a W, so I know. But yeah, it's good. W.